Are you after a new multimeter? Well, I might have the answer for you. This is the Kaiweats KM602 multimeter. They've just sent this to me to uh, review. Now, some of you will know that in a previous video, I had one of these. This is the KM601 multimeter. This is the next model up. So we're gonna look at the differences between the two or if there are any differences between the two. This multimeter is not a bad multimeter for those who just want something basic to do some measurements. With, I've, I've, I've got a Fluke multimeter as well, which I compared this 601 to. The Fluke multimeter, you know, is my tried and tested and true one. But, uh, you know, the, the Kiwi's give it a good run for its money. So let's open up the 602 and have a look what you get. All right, so same case, same case as what comes with the 601. Uh, you've got the manual, but you shouldn't really need a manual really to operate a multimeter. It should be fairly intuitive. So the 602 multimeter is a full screen multimeter uh, compared to the 601. It's a little bit smaller. There aren't any buttons on the multimeter face. There are buttons on the side of the multimeter. The thing that's also handy about this is that it has a rechargeable battery in it too. So uh, it comes with a five volt adapter here in the top, which you can uh, plug in to charge the battery up so that uh, you don't have to worry about swapping out batteries and it comes with a USB um, to that little DC plug to actually charge it up. So um, I haven't charged this straight out of the box. Let's see if it's got any power. It does, cool. And it's pretty nice that it actually tells you it's got auto, it's completely auto ranging. Um, you can select a function or you can select certain functions by pressing the function button. And it will tell you down the bottom here where your inputs need to plug into. So if we go current, you can say there, it says don't measure voltage, but make sure that you plug your probes into the bottom here, which so, uh, stops you from blowing the meter up. The screen is very, very readable. This screen, I had some issues in the sun. What we might do is we might take this outside um, in if we've got any sun here in the middle of winter, and uh, we'll see if we can see what uh, what it looks like. As luck would have it, there's no direct sunlight today because it is winter here at the moment, but we can still have a look to see what it looks like outside. You can see there it's a little bit glary. We kind of have to tilt it at a sharp angle to actually see it. But I mean, yeah, that's to be expected with a screen like this, I guess. But inside, the screen is an absolute joy to look at. So um, nice, easy to read. We also have a light which is on the back, so that can be used in dark environments. Uh, max min as well, so you know, it's pretty easy to, to follow. Comes with a set of probes as well. At the moment, these are about 50 US dollars and there is a link in the description below if you would like to pick up one of these meters. It is an affiliate link and uh, any purchases used go towards the running of the channel and I do appreciate uh, all of you who use those links to support. So let's just plug in the meter here and let's do a basic uh, voltage measurement. 12.13 volts, that's pretty easy to see. This is not touch screen at all, so this is just a screen, so your only buttons are on the side. We also have a non-contact voltage live meter as well, so we can find a power lead here. There we go. I like the fact that it still comes with a rechargeable battery in it, so you don't have to keep swapping batteries out like you do with one of these, or even the Fluke. The Fluke has a nine volt battery in it. This has, I think, triple A's in it, whereas this has a rechargeable lithium ion battery in it. As with most Kiwi's tools, it's pretty robust. It's in this case, which I can, throw around and drop and because of the the case is a little bit higher than the screen it means that if it's dropped on its face you're not going to smash the screen easy unless you've got rock or unless you drop it on rocks or something like that so it's pretty uh, pretty robust as well now i've done reviews on kiwi's products before and the km601 is a decent budget multimeter it's probably been replaced now by the km602 uh, at least in my radio shack it has but if you'd like to see the comparison between that and say a Fluke multimeter, then there are a couple of Kiwi's videos here that you can watch right now.